Michael and I decided that as we're doing things in this bar, we're making everything from scratch, we're squeezing all the juices from scratch, we started making our own bitters. We kind of just wanted to take it to the next level and really control every aspect of not just the hospitality, but also the ingredients that we're working with. My job mostly is making sure that everything that goes inside those bottles is perfect. Branding of Sun Liquor and the inspiration came in, in sort of a long period of, of being interested in the history of Seattle, but also the idea that you want to make something that is, is more lasting and permanent and more of an institution, not just a, you know, a nice looking bar that you know, doesn't really have any sort of heart and soul. We're really excited that we're able to make rum. We're really excited we're able to make brandy. We're excited we get to work with you know, all these farms from central Washington, from Whidbey Island, from all over the states to work with, you know, fourth generation farmers and get amazing products for our products. Sun Liquor, it's 10 years old now. They, we were conceiving of it about 10 years ago and thinking of a place that would sort of establish, you know, um, you know a, a venue for great cocktails, um, handmade, uh, a nod to the past and again looking at the aesthetic originally there was this sort of firework theme that was going on and it's still throughout this new location and we put it into our branding in some of our bottles and packaging. Daily we get responses from you know people who have tried our stuff whether it's been on vacation or through the airlines and they really want our stuff in their state. One of the things that Eric and I have always said, and we get along about this so much, and I've always loved it about him, is that you want people, you don't want to intimidate people when they come into the bar. You don't want to intimidate people when they buy your bottle off of a shelf in a grocery store. You want it to be humble. You want people from who are, you know, in their 90s to, you know, the young kids in their 20s. You want everyone to feel and respond to it in their own way, and it has to be meaningful. Working with nature and letting, letting Mother Nature create this alcohol for us and then riding with that and just distilling it is the most fun thing hands down. Uh, we work with guys who bring us uh, fresh honey, we'll make meads, we'll distill those into eau de vies. I mean, the funnest part is seeing it transform from its raw material into uh, beautifully crafted, timeless distilled spirit.